Ugh, I need my morning cup. Hi, I'm Lewis Lufkin. Welcome to your morning cup. This week we're talking about class, income, and wealth. So I want to start our morning cup series uh, by talking about this notion of redistribution of wealth. That's something that we've heard a lot of over the last five or six years or so. Um, but in order to understand redistribution of wealth and, and how it affects each one of us, we need to understand how income and status have changed uh, of American citizens um, over time and as a result of our capitalist economy. Um, so if you haven't already, I do encourage you to go ahead and view the videos as well as read the text before responding to the Morning Cup discussion question. And once you do that, I want you to consider the data that you've learned from the video on America's distribution of wealth from 1955. Compare that to um, the current data you get from the text or maybe any other uh, research you might do on your own. When you do, you'll learn that the roughly the top richest 1% control over one-third of all the privately held wealth in the United States. So knowing that, it's easy to um, see how income has increased from the 1950s uh, to present day. So that's one consideration. Take that, file it for future reference, okay? Now we're going to talk about redistribution of wealth, something we've heard a lot of over the last five or six years. And it implies uh, taking from those who have and giving to those who do not. Okay, now the, the point of hot debate about that is what is the avenue by which we do that? We live in a very pluralistic society. We live in a very benevolent society that believes in taking care of our fellow human beings. But we differ in how we go about doing that. Okay, we're, we're faced with the notion of how could we better take care of our fellow human being or how should we better take care of our fellow human being. Um, how could we implies and involves personal responsibility and the intentions and the actions of the individual citizen. How should we implies more of a moral obligation that's um, facilitated through public policy and legislation by the government on behalf of the citizenry. Okay, um, through the current administration's uh, proposals on taxation, health care, and climate change. Okay, so when we're considering the uh, current policymakers and, and uh, executive administration of our nation and, and their efforts to even out the playing field among citizens of all socioeconomic levels, we also have to consider uh, the methodology that they're using in framing uh, public policy uh, according to moral obligations and how it relies heavily on the intervention of government in um, the personal matters of each citizen. So take that information. That's going to be the second bit of information you're going to file away for future reference. Now let's move on to the Morning Cup discussion question, which refers to uh, redistribution of wealth. Now we're going to use an analogy um, that was coined by some University of California uh, students uh, in, re in reference to redistribution of wealth, but it's something that each of you um, university students can relate to more uh, real world right now than you can in the overall scheme of things uh, once you graduate uh, college. So what we're going to do, and this is uh, according to uh, that analogy, hypothetically you as a university student are going to be asked to sign a petition in which you are going to be expected to redistribute grade point average. The idea being to compare uh, grade point average redistribution with our progressive tax system where we take from the top and give to the bottom. We take grade point average from the top 10% of the class and redistribute that grade point average uh, to people who are failing to make the grade in the lower 10% of the class. If you have a 4.0, that excessive grade point average will be taken and redistributed to someone who's struggling in class and may fail to graduate. Now here's the question. Do you think that redistribution of grade point average is fair? Why or why not? Remember, always support your discussion in your comments. I look forward to hearing what you have to say, and that's your morning cup. Have a great week.